She lived the life the way she wanted to And made her dreams come true Hello beautiful Leo, I'm Trini Welcome to your general tarot reading for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising For the month of July We're going to take a look at everything Overall energy I'll lay a Celtic cross spread for you We'll look at love, money and career and I'll close with a spirit animal card. And that's wonderful so that you know what energetic support is coming to you at this time. Now before I start pulling cards, I love to play a healing tone to raise your vibration and make sure that you're open to receive all of the wonderful messages that universe has for you. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose, Leo. And out through your mouth. Release any tension that you feel in your body. Allow any fears, doubts, or worries to melt away. Know that this is your time. I see truth, I hear truth, I know truth, and I speak truth. So must it be on all dimensions. Ashe. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and take a look to see what message Divine has for your overall energy. All right. All right, you're working through your fears. So this is about um, moving beyond things that have held you back in the past. Because that's what fear does. It keeps us stuck where we were, stuck where we used to be. But you are evolving at a very rapid rate, looking at it from a soul level. Like here in the physical, it might not always seem like it's moving fast paced to you, but based on what your soul has planned for you to achieve and accomplish in this life, you're doing far beyond that. And it's because on a soul level, you know the reward. And that's that you are fulfilling your purpose. And that's what feels good to you. It's what feels right to you. Because you love being in sync with your truth. And so because of that, you have had the strength. You found the strength within you to move beyond your fears. And that's exactly what you're gonna find that you're doing this month is moving beyond a lot of fearful situations that used to hold you back. You're like, no, mm -mm, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not playing by those same rules. Like the Leo lion is roaring. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not a time for other people to play with you right now because you're serious. You're not playing games anymore. Okay, and the only reason why you did in the past was because you didn't realize your self-worth. You didn't realize that you had the power to move forward and to not ask, may I? You didn't even have to ask. Now you're just moving. You're not asking for permission anymore. Okay? All right. Ashe. So um, right now I'm, pull I'm laying a Celtic cross spread for you. To see what energies, how the energies are playing out for you for the month, okay? All right, two more cards for beautiful Leo. One. And two, okay. All right, so for your uh, current situation, you've got Ten of Wands. I see that you're feeling burdened. It's like you're tired of being tired. With that work through your fears, I know that there are situations that you're just like, you've been experiencing them for so long now that, yeah, you're ready to be in a different place. And so you're going to a different place, but know that it is your strength that took you there, okay? Because when you get there, you're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't even know it could be this wonderful. But give yourself that credit. Now, the conflict with your current situation is the death card. So that's about letting go. I feel like there's still some fear that you're holding on to or that's holding on to you. 
and it's making you second guess yourself. It's also making you feel like, okay, there's, there's, there are things that you know right now you need to let go of, whether it's a job situation or a connection to a person. It could be a relationship or an ex or somebody who's like, they've dug their heels into you and they haven't let go. Okay, so you know that you need to draw that line in the sand and say, I'm done. But there's something that keeps holding on and it feels very strong and very powerful to you sometimes. Divine is saying that, um, with that, look at that with the death card, it's like the other little muertos. It's very, what's happening is past life connections that you have with people and with situations, ancestral ties. And so Divine is saying that you are not only healing yourself, but you're healing your bloodline. You're healing your ancestors as well. So know that the things that are very, you find very difficult at this time to let go of, the reward is going to be so much greater than you ever anticipated because this is not just about you. This is about your ancestors. And this is about your legacy as well. Okay. Especially for, for those of you who have children, the... Know that the wonderful things that you do in this lifetime are going to stay with your children and their children and their children. You are creating a legacy. Okay. Um, for your basis, you have the star. So this energy is all about your healing. This is all about you becoming your best self. Also, I feel like a lot of you are on track to um, experience some notoriety. And I feel like this is pertaining to your life's purpose. So if you're sharing your story of what you've been through, or if you're sharing a talent or creative endeavor, it is going to gain some notoriety at this time because, um, or you're going to notice signs of that, evidence of that, where it's moving in that direction. Because you're not only healing, but you're radiating healing energy as well. And so that heals others. Okay. You're doing really beautiful things. I love it. I love it. Okay, so for your past, you've got the hangman. Yeah, and, and that's the... That's what I see is that in the past, you were hangman, like, staying still, not really moving, because you were stuck in fear. A lot of times, that hangman energy comes from fear, because I don't want to make the wrong move. I don't want to upset anybody. I don't want to see the wrong thing. I don't want to make a fool of, my, of myself, and... Now you're working through your fears and you're saying, so what? You're going to find yourself saying this a lot this month. I choose not to care. <laughs> it might come out like, I just don't care. I just don't give a whatever, you know, but it's, it, you're going to be in that vibe where it's like, I don't care. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Why would I care? <laughs> All right, for your present energy, you've got temperance. And this is about balance. This is about patience. So that's why you're not caring. That's why you're caring a lot less. Because by caring a lot less, you are carrying a lot less burden on your shoulders. Because you've been taking on too much. And so you're finding that balance in your energy where you're just like, I'm putting me first and I'm also able to fulfill my obligations but I'm able to do that because I'm taking care of me first me myself and I you know that that's a good song I like listening to that it's, it's uh by Beyonce <laughs> and it, it just came to me but it's like sometimes you just gotta put yourself first and and know that you're gonna see a return on that because it's not always easy to do that. A lot of times we feel pressured to give other people and other situations our time and our energy and our effort and our da 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 da. But what's really needed at this time is to zone in and hone in on what you need because you deserve that. Okay, for your future, you've got justice. Yes, so this is about. Once again, another card about truth and balance, fairness. Also, somebody's getting there. It's like, I don't know who it is around you, but um, you're going to find that 
there's somebody who's been really out of pocket, like just, you know, <laughs> sometimes we say like they're filling their Cheerios, you know, it's just like they've been doing whatever they, they went rogue. They're doing whatever they want. And that's what it feels like. But they are going to be corrected at this time on a universal level. Because the energy that they're radiating is not in tune with the overall uh, frequency that we're aligned with universally, cosmically. And so when you move, move out of sync with that for so long, it's like, it's, it's going to catch up. <laughs> like, so it's, it's time for someone to understand that they have been in the wrong. And so you're going to kind of sit back and say, yeah, I knew it all along. Okay. Justice. Justice, justice, justice. Okay, for your power, you have Ace of Cups. So your power right now is putting yourself first. Your power is is choosing to love yourself over expectations and norms and all of that. Put yourself first at this time because you will be rewarded for that. And that's what's going to bring that temperance, that balance, that um, equilibrium that's needed right now. Also, you have that justice card. So it's really about balance and your personal truth that's shining through, okay? And justice, because I saw that as well. Somebody, somebody's about to get theirs. I don't know who, but somebody's about to get theirs. <laughs> okay, for the people around you, you've got eight of pentacles. There's somebody around you that's really hardworking, and I feel like they're about to be burned out. So um, if this is a lover... I feel like for some of you, this is a heads up because it could be a lover. They might be giving a lot of time and effort and attention to work. And just like, they need to be distracted and um, they need to experience some pleasure right now. So if that's going to be pleasurable for you, you know, it's not your responsibility to make anybody feel better. Okay? That's not it at all. But... If it is something that will bring pleasure to you to be with them um, at this time and to kind of like just go off and do something fun. You know, you could go to the beach, you could go um, horseback riding, um, you know, go pick some flowers, I mean, anything that's like fun that you both will be able to cherish that experience. That's what you should do right now. It doesn't have to be sex. I feel like they would really like the sex, but <laughs> it doesn't have to be sex. So just something really pleasant and fun, okay? Because some that I, I feel like that's your lover that's coming through. But they're super, super preoccupied with work, and it's like they just need to walk on the wild side. <laughs> All right, for your hopes and fears, you have Nine of Swords. So... I feel like you're you're worried about being too worried. You may have experienced some sort of behaviors in the past that aren't necessarily labeled as normal by everybody, whether it's OCD or depression or anxiety or whatever, which all are so common. All all of those behaviors are so common. And um you're learning yourself. You're understanding yourself. It's a process. You're not supposed to know who you are overnight. So the work that you've done to understand yourself, it is paying off. And Divine is saying to give yourself credit for that. And you don't have to see yourself in a negative light because you're a beautiful being. And you radiate so brightly. So focus on that. For your outcome, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So... Things are aligning and you are going to find that things sort of just click into place. And I'm seeing that wheel on the price is right. 
you know, the wheel, the big wheel that they spin at the end of the game. And it's like, it's coming right into alignment with what's right for you. And so you're going to experience abundance. And this is on many levels. It's not just with prosperity. This is with spirituality as well. This is about your self-knowledge. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull a card for love. At first sight. Um, yeah. So I feel like for some of you, this is, you've been with this person already. You're in a relationship, but there's going to be like this renewed spark. Okay. And that's why I see you guys going away. You know, I, I, I feel like they've been really focused on something very heavy at work. And yeah, the fool. So for some of you, this new love journey is brand new. It's brand spanking new. Like y'all just met. You're, you're about to meet. And it's just like brand new. And for some of you, it's going to feel brand new. It's like you're bringing the new energy into your relationship. And that's so important because when you've been together for so long, you have to breathe new life into your connection. It's very important to keep the fire going. So there should always be something new between you and your partner. Is it a new habit that you form? Are you going out and taking a walk every day? Are you uh, painting together? Are you trying something new in bed together? Like, what are you doing that's new? Always introduce something new and then savor it. Take the time to savor it and then introduce something else that's new or maybe bring back something from the past. But yeah, you're, you're experiencing new energy and love. And so that's gonna feel really really good <laughs> all right uh let's pull a card for money career and finances all right you've got comfort so there's something that feels comfortable to you right now that you don't want to let go of and um i feel like this is requiring that you really go within and and take a look at what you want because there's something that it feels comfortable as in it provides the money it provides the stability but it's a work situation or financial situation that that, that just it feels like it drives you crazy and you want to run away from it but you keep going back to it, okay? So with that Prince of Cups, that's all about introspection. That's all about looking within and saying, what's right for me right now? What's right for me? Be completely and totally honest with yourself, okay? Because this is crucial. And that's not to like stir any anxiety or anything, but it's like you deserve, it's just because you deserve the best that you should make the right decision for yourself. What it is that you feel, trust that. And then you'll be perfectly fine. That's all you gotta do is trust what you truly feel deep within. And ask yourself if the comfort of something is worth the sacrifice that you're making in order to accomplish it or to achieve it or to keep it around, you know? All right, I'm going to close with a spirit animal card. Devon, what spirit animal message do you have for beautiful Leo? All right, well, agility, imagination, and intuition. So that's what came through with that Prince of Cups introspection card. That's super important for you right now. So you want to make sure that you're um, really paying attention to the physical sensations that you get. Do they feel negative? Do they feel positive? This is letting you know where your fears are. Because that's what you're doing is you're working through those fears and those anxieties. 
All right, you're being guided to focus on emotional stability and well-being and listen to your inner guidance. Oh my God, that's what we just said, Ashe. The time has come for you to jump into action and go after what you desire. Be playful. Okay, listen. Be playful and splash in the waters of life, creating new waves of abundance for you and others to enjoy. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my goddess. Inner transformation and outer transformation. And it's like you're going through an inner transformation that is going to inspire people around you. So, Ashe, that is beautiful. All right, Leo, I hope that this reading was helpful to you. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.